showing strength as they gear up to support their Iowa State Cyclones. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Iowa State Cyclones. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. something Dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. A first down for the offense. Corners right up on that line of scrimmage. the play fake on first down wants to throw going for a big play right off the bat makes a catch at the 15 and they are pushing the ball down the field a big pickup on that one and the tackle is finally made got it behind the line it's long They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. He's got him in the flat. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Now we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. The defense is going to have to get something to get out. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hanson. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. down here comes this offense out of the gun the running back has it punches ahead they'll give him a yard to the 13 
I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Still on his feet at the 25. Off he goes. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And you see so many of these plays now in today's football. Wide receiver coming in motion, and the quarterback catches it, just flips it forward. That's a completed pass. Uh, you see the big plays where it just lets him get on the edge really, really quickly. And if he drops the football coming in motion, it's just an incomplete pass. So these plays are getting big plays with really no risk. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. The Cyclones want to pick up the tempo. A jet sweep pass. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page, playing together. I love it. They'll give it to the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. It would have been a 54-yarder if they tried the field goal. Instead, they'll try to convert on fourth and short. Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box, getting the big stop. Corner showing press. They want to be physical here. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Trying play action. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge if he could have squeezed it. Man, this QB is so dangerous. He can get outside the pocket, and right here you can tell. He gets outside the pocket. Now I've got to make some decisions, man. Do I, do I want to go chase this guy? Do I play coverage? And that's why these mobile quarterbacks can really put you in a predicament. The defense won this battle, but that guy is so hard to correct. To the air. It's Milrow. He'll take another shot here. Makes a grab at the 25, and there's room. Touchdown! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a 62-yard pass for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Hanson. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Offense getting set for first down. Touch pass on the run. He's off to the races. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. First down here for the offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. And a short gain here in the first quarter will come to a close. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. 
They started this drive with a big play, but now they need a conversion to keep it alive on third down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. And the Cyclones want to crank the tempo. The quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And he makes the catch inside the 15. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. The Cyclones are on the move. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Iowa State! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Getting aggressive here and going for two. Little touch pass to the receiver. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Here comes that Alabama offense. the move it's Haynes a collision and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one and that's what you're trying to do as a defense limit those damages when they run the football get them on the ground short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road to throw it's Milro unloads to the wide out lost the defense is wide open Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. That last big play has them in position to threaten here. First and 10 from the 37. Looking to move it through the air. Now he's going to break the pocket. Fires to the wideout. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. Looking to throw on second down. Skips away from pressure. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Going deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Well, guess who? They're taking a shot to the guy that's just been torching this defense in the entire first half. He's already got over 100 yards, so why not try to add to it and force this defense to prove that they can cover him? They did do a nice job right there, but that's not the last time this guy's going to see the ball thrown his way. Using his feet to buy time. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. It's really hard when that quarterback gets outside the pocket because he cuts off half of the field. Once he starts to roll out, everybody starts to sprint to the other side of the field. You know you're not going to throw it across your body going to the right. Great job by the defense closing it off and making the interception. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Across the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Wide out in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And 
big is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And the Cyclones will line it up on first and ten. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. A lot of urgency for this offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Quick pass on the jet motion. Headed to the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Cyclone. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, man, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Looking to throw, it's back. He's in the end zone, and they'll put two more on the board just before halftime. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. They'll throw it on first down. He'll loft one deep down the left side. A full dive to haul that one in. Just about set to put toe to leather as we are deadlocked here in the third. He'll bring it out. It's Hansen. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Iowa State sending the offense back out. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. He'll try to do it himself. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They're in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. And this is why you square your prominent jawline and go straight ahead to get it. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. I know the analytics tell me to be aggressive and go for it, but... In the second half, in these ball games, the analytics don't work for every single situation. And right now, you've set them up. I just hope this one doesn't come back to bite you right in the eye. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Field goal here will put them on top, but a touchdown's what you want in a game like this. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got some room in into the goal line. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Alabama! And that one will put him up here in the second half. 
The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. That's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. That makes the score Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From back of the end zone, he'll bring it out. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. When you hear about it all the time in football, go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You can see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's kind of galvanized them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. It doesn't matter who it is. Receivers, in this case, a tight end. You get open. You sometimes start to look at that green space in front of you, and you just take your eye off the football, lose your concentration a little bit, and miss that opportunity for possibly a big play. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Going for it on fourth down must be part of their philosophy. Just one for three so far in this one. They're bringing heat. Takes a hit as he fires. And this will fall incomplete, and they'll turn it over on down. Well, the defense is smelling blood in the water. As soon as they saw this offense decide to go for it in that area of the field, they were like, okay, you're going to gift us the football. We'll go ahead. We'll take over. Thanks. We'll make a play, and we'll take this over. And now we're going to try to make you pay for that decision. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last one, they're staring at a second and long first down marker just short of the goal line. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give out of the gun. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They were unfazed by that earlier fourth down failure and will try for a second time in this one. going to the air. Fires into the end zone. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. I love when defenses are smart enough to swap the ball down. Don't go for the pick, especially on fourth down. They knock it down. You get the ball anyways. Nice job by the defender. Catch in the middle. It's Jackson. Oh, they knock it free. Oh, the fumble, and the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. The tied offense rolls onto the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. 
They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Relying on that running game inside the red zone. He picked up three to the 11. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down already with a one-possession lead. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Offense set on first down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. They'll throw it on first down. He's taking a deep shot. It's caught downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Power football with the run. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Looking for a man, it's Beck. It's complete on the right side. At the 35, he's got room. He got loose, almost house to finally drag down at the 32. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. I'm trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the right. Makes the catch. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Iowa State! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do. Just like practice, knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. The extra point is up and good, and we are tied up in the fourth. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. <laughs> Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes that Alabama offense. This one is about finding the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this thing works, though, if they're going to be aggressive, this offensive line has got to be able to hold up here for this QB. Yeah, because you need to take shots beyond the sticks so the clock will stop and you can save every second you have. Alabama pushing the tempo. Back to throw. It's Milrow. What great protection. And he lets it go down the middle. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining timeout. to play. Alabama. Here comes the field goal unit. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. What a finish we have unfolding here. The offense in the waning moments and a chance to take the lead. With the run on first and goal. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Timeout is called with just a single second left. 
The defense calls the timeout. They're second of the day as they try to get their act together. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And this will be for the win. And it's good. The short field goal for the game. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just...